Hi, I'm Matt Shelley. I'm here today to show you how to use an engineering level. So for this intro, we'll be doing it in two stages. First will be how to set up the level, and second will be how to use a leveling rod. First step in setting up the level is to take it out of the box and mount it securely to the tripod using the bolt in the center of the tripod. So step two is to level the tripod and you do that by picking up back two legs and moving them around with one leg securely on the ground until the top of the tripod is roughly level. Step three is to level the circular bubble. To level the circular bubble, the easiest way to do it is to rotate the level so that the telescope is over two screws. In doing so, it makes setting up the circular bubble much easier. Now what I have to do is move the circular bubble in the center by rotating the foot screws. So I move one of these two screws to move the bubble in this direction or the direction of the telescope. The next thing is to move the back screw so that the bubble will move in this direction or perpendicular to the telescope. So you move the foot screws until you get the bubble perfectly in the center of the vial. Once the circular bubble is in the center, the level is only roughly leveled. At this point, what happens is a compensator built inside the level itself will now finally level the instrument to allow us to start reading. So the next step is to identify each of the three knobs on the level itself. The first knob that we will look at is the eyepiece and the eyepiece adjusts the crosshairs. So looking through the telescope, rotate the eyepiece until you have clear, crisp, black lines through your line of sight. The next knob is the focus knob. And the focus knob is this knob here. Rotating this knob and looking through the telescope, this will adjust so that we can see things clearly in the telescope. The last knob is the fine adjustment knob and we use this to finally move the level back and forth left to right. The next step is to take a reading on the rod. So this is the rod and the rod is just one big ruler. First thing we need to do with the rod is expand it out properly so that it hits the stops and is clamped down to keep it from sliding. With the level sighted on the rod it is important to wave the rod back and forth front to back to ensure the level rod is plumb. Looking through the level, the crosshairs will pass through the rod at a certain point. We will indicate that on the rod by using the pencil and marking on the rod. To take a reading on the rod, we have to break it down into four basic parts. We're looking for how many meters, how many decimeters, how many centimeters, and how many millimeters. First thing we're looking for is how many meters. And we do that by starting at the bottom of the rod and realize that as we move our way up, we get to the one meter mark that is indicated with a red one. And as we continue to move up, you'll see a marking now underneath each one of these big black numbers indicating that we are now above one meter. And subsequently, that continues as we go to two and three meters. Once we establish how many meters, the next thing we're looking for is how many decimeters. And each decimeter is indicated by the large black numbers. We also need to identify how many centimeters and how many millimeters. And the centimeters are indicated with the black and white alternating squares up the side of the rod. Now the first square is zero centimeters because if we go from 1.4 meters up through this black square we have not covered a full centimeter yet so this square here will be zero centimeters subsequently one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter five six seven eight nine centimeters all the way up to 1.5 meters so, going back to our reading, it's going to be 0, 
one, two, three centimeters. The last thing we have to do is estimate how many millimeters. So we do that by approximating how many millimeters we are above the centimeter mark. In this case, I would approximate it to be six millimeters above the centimeter mark, leaving us with 1.436 meters.